Hi, uh, I'm Mark Leggett. I'm a Divisional Director with the Mott McDonald Group in Croydon. My role for the last 27 years has been um, designing and planning underground space, mostly in London, so projects like Crossrail. I'm also the Chair of the British Tunneling Society, which is the Learned Society associated with the Institution of Civil Engineers. And we promote, our, our goal is the promotion of the use of underground space. My name's Dr. Anmol Betty. Um, I'm the Managing Director of a specialist geotechnical and tunnel engineering firm called Betty Consulting Limited. I'm a uh, tunnels and underground structures design engineer um, and our work involves conceptualising, planning and designing um, the way the tunnels are constructed. My name is Roy Slocum. I'm a director of Heron Connect International which is the UK subsidiary of, of Heron Connect, one of the major tunneling machine manufacturers. I've always worked in tunneling, um, both in mining tunneling, mostly in tunnel construction, uh, but also some design and I now work for a, a tunneling machine manufacturer. My name's Marie Ailiff, I'm an Associate Director in the Tunnelling Team in Birmingham for AECOM. I'm also a Chartered Civil Engineer and member of the Institution of Civil Engineers. My role in the Tunnelling Team here is as a technical lead on various projects. I usually have a group of engineers working with me and we provide all the technical input into a project. I'm Colin Eddy. Um, I am the managing director of a, a specialist consultancy business called Underground Professional Services, uh, which is part of the, the Morgan Sindel Group. I've worked essentially for the same company all my working life, and it started quite modestly and is now one of the, the largest tunneling companies in the UK. My name's Harry Brunson. I'm a assistant engineer in the tunneling and underground structures team at ACOM. I'm also a graduate member of the Institution of Civil Engineers. My role as a tunnel engineer is quite varied. I get involved in different projects in different sectors of the industry, uh, be it rail, water, uh, power industry, and I quite like the variety that it gives me. As more and more of the world's population end up in, in really big cities, uh, then there's a growing need for tunnels for both utilities, for supply, uh, sewage and the like, and also for, for the movement of people. Uh, one of the things that's been noticeable since the millennium is the increase in the amount of tunnelling worldwide as more and more cities look to put in underground systems uh, to move people about. Uh, we generally can't see tunnels, um, so we put them uh, behind us a little bit. Um, but they're responsible for providing some of our everyday sustenance, our basic needs. By putting all these amenities underground, I think that we free up a lot of the surface uh, infrastructure and surface space. So in my opinion, I don't think cities would be as vibrant and um, uh, as unique as they are without, without tunnels carrying our daily infrastructure. Tunnel engineering transforms lives by providing infrastructure that is critical to our everyday society and a lot of people don't realise just how important tunnels are to society, particularly going forward with population growth, urbanisation, etc. Tunnelling is going to become even more important to society. I think it's a really interesting time to be a tunnel engineer. Tunnels and the use of underground space will, will change society. I genuinely believe that. Uh, new methods, new machinery, new materials will, will absolutely revolutionise the use of underground space. I think tunnels are really important to the way we live our modern lives. Uh, we have very congested city centres, the urban environment is really challenging to actually provide new rail links, new road links, provide water, electricity, everything that we need to support our modern life. It's really difficult to do. Instead of building above ground, we can go below ground. Once we understand the ground, and once we know where we want to get to, it's very easy to actually provide a, a tunnelling solution. Surface real estate is, is so valuable now that actually the use of underground space has a significant um, cost benefit. Also, if you look at the history, you know, this city and major cities around the UK and the world in terms of sanitation, transport, security, power, communication, we just couldn't survive without the use of underground space and we're going to see a lot more of it in the future. What I really, really enjoy about my job 
is the variety. It changes from week to week. We have problems to solve on a daily basis. Sometimes it's something you've seen before, sometimes it's something totally different. So it's that challenge in coming up with a practical solution to a problem that really uh, motivates me. I've always wanted to be a tunnel engineer. Ever since I was very little, I read lots of books when I was young about the, you know, the famous tunnel projects, especially the things like the, the Alpine tunnels, which were very famous. Um, and my, with my current role, I get involved in tunnel projects at all different stages, and it's, it's really good to be able to visit some of the big projects. The most exciting thing about being a tunnelling engineer, I think, is this creation of this lasting legacy. And uh, for me, that's always driven me um, and I can look around at the projects that I've delivered and the people now using them and how successful they, they, they are and that's really exciting and that's, you know, you look back and you've left something useful behind. I think tunnel engineering itself is uh, incredibly exciting, uh, it's a very challenging task. To get an understanding of, of tunnel engineering we need to be able to foresee the future a little bit and this involves uh, numerous amounts of calculations, discussions with all, all facets of um, engineering and because every tunnel and, and every ground is different, um, every day is a new challenge. And one of the best parts of my job is I get to play with big toys and see uh, big machines that help build these tunnels. The most exciting part about my job is seeing the output of your work. A lot of the time, you're, particularly in the design office, you're remote from what you're actually doing. But the most exciting thing is going and visiting it during the works or when it is complete and going, yes, I was involved in designing that and that is without doubt the most exciting and rewarding part of, of being a civil engineer and a tunnelling engineer. The most exciting thing about my job is pretty much everything. Uh, I love my job. Uh, we have different problems to solve every day uh, and the work we're doing, particularly in research and development, is really exciting. I've always wanted to be a tunnel engineer, I've always thought it's fascinating, it's real heavy engineering and uh, it's what I've always wanted to do. One of the taglines of, of the Institution of Civil Engineers says, when you understand civil engineering you look at the world differently. I'd rephrase that to say, when you understand engineering then you look at everything in a very different way. I knew when I was doing my A-levels that I liked maths and sciences, uh, I liked solving problems, I liked being outdoors. Uh, all those sorts of things that appealed to me. But I really didn't have an idea about being a, an engineer at that time. Um, but I did have a very good friend whose father was a structural engineer and he encouraged me to think about engineering as a career choice, although nobody in my school had actually been a civil engineer. So it was a big step into the unknown, really. The honest answer to why I became a civil engineer is I didn't really know what civil engineering was. And unfortunately, I'm afraid with the quality of careers advice in schools today, it's not much better. Uh, so I think we have a real challenge to, to go into schools and, and show young kids exactly how exciting engineering can be and what, a, what an absolutely great career um, civil engineering and tunnelling can be. Uh, and, and the good thing about uh, all of the projects that I've worked on, they genuinely have made the planet a better place. I became a civil engineer because I really like a challenge and civil engineering is all about problem solving. Every day is a different day. When you come in you might have a different challenge to solve and that is what I really like about civil engineering. I became a civil engineer because I wanted to do something practical, um, something I can see delivered on the ground. I like to see something I've designed built and then see the, uh, the public and the industry uh, using my structures and that to me is incredibly satisfying. I became a civil engineer originally because it looked interesting, and it is, but I come back to that legacy now. Now I really know why I wanted to be an engineer, to leave that legacy, to, to, be, to look back and say, yes, I did something really useful. That's, that underpins everything that I do now. This new tunnel exhibition, which is opening up at the ICE, um, in my view is, is very beneficial for the public, um, namely because we can't see tunnels. So a lot of us uh, don't really understand the technicalities of tunnelling, we just use the hole in the ground. Um, I think this will open up people's eyes into the complexities of tunnelling, um, the intricacies of tunnelling um, and what they provide for us as a community in general. 
Hopefully this exhibition will make a big increase in the people's knowledge about tunnelling. One of the problems with tunnelling is that people just don't understand or don't know what's going on beneath their feet. And therefore an exhibition like this I think will broaden people's knowledge and make them more aware of, of how much tunnelling goes on in the country. I think the planned exhibition is a marvellous idea. Um, when people get involved with tunnelling or have an insight into tunnelling, they get really excited. And in fact, few people that join the industry or have contact with it, leave it, um, because it just gets into their, into their blood. Uh, and so having, having people that can come to the exhibition, uh, see what tunnelling's about, see what challenges we face, uh, and see the community of great engineers that we have in the UK, uh, I, I think it will be really exciting. The importance of the forthcoming Tunnelling Exhibition I think is twofold. One is to sort of showcase um, the history, how where tunnels have come from, what, how why they're important, how what the current projects are what, and what's, what's, you know, how they're produced. But I think also to demonstrate to people that there's a living world underneath their feet. You know, they, this great city would not work without this, this underground infrastructure. And it's, this is becoming more and more true of many cities, not just in, in the UK, but globally. So we're going to see a lot more use of underground space.